Rona Carr, president of our alumni association, will uh, offer greetings from the alumni. Good morning, welcome, and I bring you greetings from the Sarah Lawrence alumni community. I'm Rona Carr, I'm the class of 1974, and I want to assure you that as a community, we continue to evolve, and as new alum, you are warmly invited to join this very vibrant and active and engaged community. One of the things we want to assure you is that you will be welcomed. We want your ideas, we want your energy, we want you to engage your networks, and we want you to be able to help good things happen for yourself, for the college, and for others. So as you're launching today into the wider world, I wanted to offer a thought and share some personal advice that I think will be helpful to many of you. My thought is that Someone once told me that the definition of passion was that it's the dreams and hopes that consume your thoughts and ideas and that will not leave you alone. The advice that I have to offer is personal and it's several bits of advice. Understand and learn the art of being deferential. It will be something that will serve you very well. Never forget that actions speak louder than words. To hear is the gift of good health. To listen will always be a choice. If you have a vision, be willing to be misunderstood. Money is important, and it is better to have it than to not. However, <laughs> it's also very true that it's not quite everything. But what's most important is to remember that finding the balance between having it and not having it will always be very unique and specific to each of you as individuals, and you must learn to appreciate that. Your life will continue to be a work in progress. It will be absolutely critical and very, very important that you always find ways and moments that are small and large to celebrate that you're alive and that you have choices, some of which are going to be really quite wonderful. Good health, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually are also very important. It will help you to endure the stress of any loss and success in your life, both personally and professionally. And it allow you to endure those experiences with both grace and good humor. And finally, many of you will pick whom you will marry and what you do in life, but none of you will ever be able to pick whom you will fall in love with and what you will love doing. So congratulations, do be in touch, and of course, do good work. We look forward to meeting you and working with you. Thank you. <laughs> 